Hey everyone, I'm Ava and welcome back to Delightful Dolls. Today I made for you a Barbie doll mini movie. And I want to give a huge shout out to T Dolls for coming up with the idea for this mini movie. And if you want to, you can send your idea or script to ddstoryideas at gmail.com for a chance to see your idea turn into a mini doll movie. Also make sure to check out this video here if you want more details on how to do all of that. I also want to mention that these mini movies have absolutely nothing to do with my Emily and Friends doll series. Even if you see similar rooms, characters, or props, none of it corresponds to the Emily and Friends doll series, so do keep that in mind. And every doll movie is different from the last, so again, this is just its own separate thing. Anyways, I hope you enjoy, and let's just get right on into it. Ugh. What's wrong, Nikki? Oh, Luke? Where did you come from? Oh, uh, I was just getting my homework from my locker. Oh. Hey, what's wrong? Uh, I got another note from that loser boy, James. Wait, what? You never told me about any notes. Oh, well, I guess because they're, um, it doesn't matter anyway. Nikki, what do they say? Ugh, they're about you. Really? Yeah, they always say for me to stop dating you and to break up with you because you're, like, dating another girl and dumb stuff like that. What the heck? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever- Don't worry, I know he's lying. Why would he even say that? I don't know. He's probably just jealous that you're dating me and not him. Maybe. He did always write those love letters in middle school. <laughs> Well, just ignore him, and if he really starts to bother you, let me know. Since the day's over, wanna go get some coffee? Uh, I wish, but I have to go help my grandma and do some spring cleaning at her house. Okay, no problem. Maybe Wednesday then, because I know you have your art lessons tomorrow after school. Yeah, Wednesday should work. I told my grandma I'd be there at her house in 20 minutes, so see you later, babe. Bye. <sighs> Wait, Nikki. I need to talk to you. Go away, James. When are you going to ever stop bothering me? Nikki. Hey, Nana. I'm here. Hi, sweetie. Thanks for coming to help me today. I'm working on cleaning out my closet area. As you can see, I've been trying on some old dresses. <laughs> you look great, Nana. And you can get started on cleaning out my dresser. Okay, I'll make some tea for us first, and don't look at any heavy things, Nana. I'll help with that stuff. Okay, thanks, hon. I wonder why James would even say that stuff about Luke. I bet he's probably just jealous, but ugh, it's annoying. What was that, darling? Oh, sorry, Nana. I was just talking to myself. I like the look, by the way. Boy problems. How did you know? I was once a 17-year-old high school girl, too, you know. <laughs> What's the problem? Oh, well... A boy at school keeps putting these letters in my locker, saying mean things about Luke and I, and saying we should break up. Do you know this boy well, the one sending you the notes? Yeah, he used to be my close friend, but not anymore. Well, that's unfortunate, sweetie. And you're sure this James is not telling the truth? Nana, this is Luke we're talking about. We've been dating for almost a year now. I trust him. James is just jealous that I'm dating Luke and not him. Well, I guess I don't blame him. You are a perfect girl, Nikki. I'm sure every guy in your school is wishing they were dating you. <laughs> I don't know about that, but thanks, Nana. Anyways, here's your tea. We should probably get back to work pretty soon. Good idea. Ooh. 
Hey, Nana, I found your jewelry box. Can I look through it? You sure can. Just don't break anything. When you were about five, you almost broke my favorite ring, remember? Yes, Nana, I remember. You just won't ever let that go, will you? Nope. <laughs> hey, what's this? I've never seen it before. Oh, wow, you found it. I've been looking for it. When did you buy it? I never bought it. You didn't? No, 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 no. This is your great-grandmother's. I used to wear it all the time when I was your age. But then I guess I just stopped wearing it. Why? I don't remember. Oh, me and my old age. I'm forgetting things. Oh, come on, Nana. You don't look a day over 30. I said I'm forgetting things. I never said I don't look gorgeous, darling. <laughs> well, if you're not going to wear it, can I? Of course you can. Put it on. Put it on. Darling, I found your old dress in here. Ooh, let me see, let me see. It's so cool Nana gave me this necklace. Huh? <sighs> oh, it can open. There's a message. The people that you trust most are the people that can hurt you most? What kind of harsh, no good, inspirational, sad quote is this? Whatever, the locket looks cool anyways. Well, I guess I should get ready for bed pretty soon here. Ugh. Mm. Ugh. Well, it's 7 a.m. I better be heading to school. Good morning! Hey, beautiful. How did your packing with your grandma go? Pretty good. I got this nice locket. Wow, that is nice, especially on you. <laughs> Thanks. Phew. No letter yet today. Yeah, there better not be. That James kid is too obsessed with our personal lives. Tell me about it. How does he even get those in there? Probably through the vents. Walk me to class? You know it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm super late for my art lessons. I gotta get going. Ugh, James. Another note. And this one's so long. Stop, Nikki. You're making a mistake. Luke is not the right guy for you and he doesn't deserve you. You should be with someone like me who appreciates you and is not dating another girl. Ugh, I swear this boy. He's not even trying to hide the fact that he wants to be with me. Ugh. James! Stop putting these notes in my locker! Nikki, I care about you. We're best friends, remember? Were. We were best friends, James, until you started getting jealous and making up these ridiculous lies about Luke. If you really cared about me, you'd leave us alone. But, but Nikki... I trust Luke, and I know he wouldn't do something like that to me. Nikki, sometimes the ones you trust can hurt you. Ugh, that's such a dumb thing to... Wait, wait, what did you say? Uh, sometimes the ones you trust can hurt you? That sounds like, like the quote in my locket. The people that you trust most are the people that can hurt you most. James, James, are you really telling the truth? Is Luke really cheating on me? I'm sorry, Nikki, but- Prove it. Prove it then. I can. I've tried to show you before, but you never gave me a chance to speak. Come with me. There. <gasps> but, but, 
I trusted him. I trusted him. Hey, Luke. Uh... Nikki? Hey! I thought you were at your art lessons. So what? This is what you usually do when I'm at my lessons? No, no, I, I can explain. Save it. We're over. No, wait, Nikki. You were still dating her? You said you broke up with her. Oh. You... you were right, James. I'm sorry. It's okay, Nikki. I really trusted Luke. I thought I could. The, the people, people that, that you trust, trust most, most are, are the people, people that can hurt you most. most. The lock was right. Do you trust me, Nikki? I- I do, James. And I'm sorry I didn't before. I'm sorry we stopped being friends. I thought you were jealous and were sending those notes because you liked me and didn't want me to be with Luke. The notes have nothing to do with that. But that also doesn't mean that I don't have feelings for you. You can trust me. The locker was right about Luke, but it won't be the same case with me. Besides, the message is, the people that you trust most are the people that can hurt you most. Not, the people that you trust most are the people that will hurt you most. And Nikki, I promise I will never hurt you. I trust you, James. And I think I like you too. But I don't know if I'm ready for all that yet. After all the- Shh. I don't expect you to be. But when you are, I'll be here. Okay? Thank you. The people that you trust most are the people that can hurt you most. When you trust the right person, that person will never hurt you. And James, I believe you're the right person. I believe you're the right person too. Thanks for the locket, Nana. Thank you everyone for watching this Barbie doll mini movie. And again, a huge thanks to T Dolls for coming up with this idea. And let me know what you guys thought of the story in the comments down below. Once again, if you want to have a chance of seeing your idea turn into a doll mini movie, email your script or idea to ddstoryideas at gmail.com. And I do read through all of the emails, so don't worry, I won't miss it. Today's shout out goes to, once again, Teedles, because I am very grateful that they submitted this idea. However, if you do want a chance of getting a shout out in next week's video, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and comment down below with the hashtag DD Squad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in the next video. Please do subscribe because I really appreciate it and it really does help out my channel. Anyways, I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye!